Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookyouandme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And um, I have um, worked a little bit in my scrap page or paper scraps journal today and I wanted to show y'all what I did. Um, we do not um, <laughs> uh, scrapbook or memory keep about ourselves enough. And let me let me tell you what I mean by that. When I printed out this picture of me, I was like, I'm just printing it that day when I was showing y'all that little mini printer that I was sent. I'm just doing it so that they can see how the printer works. I am not going to scrapbook this picture. That was my thinking. I am not going to scrapbook that picture because, you know, <laughs> we all do it. We don't memory keep about ourselves as much as we need to. So anyway... I will show y'all in just a minute how this little layout come together. I've got a nice pocket page on this side, and I've just put some um, tags in it, a little die cut, and I backed those with some tea stained paper so that I can journal about me and what's going on with me um, as mothers and caregivers. Um, we uh, <laughs> we tend to take care of everybody else and don't care take care of ourselves sometimes. And this is just kind of like a um, self-care kind of layout, in my opinion. Um, and that's how I'm treating it. But anyway, picture of me, and I will journal about me and things that um, currently I love to do and, you know, trips I've taken, stuff like that. I'll journal about that on the backs of these tags, the back of that die cut. And if I need more room, then I'll get another tea stain paper, write all about it, and then just tuck it down in there. Maybe put a little um, topper of some kind with trim on it. But anyway, this is only the, what, third layout I've done in this album. Here was the first one. I showed y'all that. Um, when I was doing it, um, even did some journaling on that one. This one is waiting for <laughs> these two pictures. I've just got to do that. So that is Bethany's first day of cosmetology school. That's Aaron Jonas doing one of the things he loves best, eating big hamburgers. <laughs> Uh, so that's um, going to be for those two pages, and um, I just went ahead and done this page. I never put myself first as far as, um, you know, things in the house and things like that, and mothers just never do that. So I put myself first on this and went ahead and went to the next page and scrapbooked this for memory kit that, and I will come back and do that one. But I really liked how these tags um, fit in there. These are from the digital kit that we got with the e-club kit um, for June. And Mom uh, designed all of those tags, beautiful tags. That piece of ephemera came from the ephemera from the June e-club kit. So even when you make your project with the e-club kit, you can still use other things in other projects. So... This is um, part of my scrap page, jumbo scrap page, paper, paper scrap three signature journal that I made. And I will link um, where I made this, how I made this one, put this one together, and the other layout that I did. I'll link that in the description box below. But I just wanted to show you all that. Um, the process of that is here if you want to watch that.
Yay, thank you to anybody that um, stuck around and watched that little process and saw me make that layout. I really enjoyed doing that. Sometimes I just need to get in here and just turn the video on and not necessarily talk through it, but let y'all see um, what I do. I appreciate that. Um, I have made a tall coin pouch, coin pocket, whatever. And I wanted to show y'all, this is like standard uh, pages that would go in your journal. And they fit perfectly right in the middle of that. Or you could even put them off to the edge, just tape down a couple of sides and then have a tuck there. A lot of people do a policy closure on their coin pockets. I like to just make them simple and put a little paper clip at the top. Don't glue down at the top here so that way you've got room to take your paper clip on and off. So that's how that would fit. And the template for those comes from um, Dark Manor, Jennifer over at Dark Manor on Etsy. She has this tall coin pouch on a freebie on my Buy Me A Coffee website. So I always have that link in the description box below. So go ahead and go pick this up if you haven't already. Um, this is not new on my Buy Me A Coffee, but um, this is one of the pages freebies um, on that site. And all I did was get some of my food color dyed paper. I'll get a piece of it here to show you what it looked like before I cut out the coin pouch. It's not going to let go. So here it is, kind of wild. It's more peachy color in person than it's showing on camera. But I just laid it down on here. And this is just printed on that premium cardstock, so like 32 pound, uh, not cardstock, copy paper. And then I just laid it down and I traced around it, made this a template, and then cut it out and then folded this over and made me a little coin pouch. I love this. I am actually not going to put this in the journal that I have been working on. I am actually putting this pouch in this album. This is that um, vintage 6x8 album from Simple Stories that I showed y'all couple of videos back and um, it has all kinds of vintage elements in it plus it's got the um, page protectors where you can put pictures and things like that in it but I want to put this coin pouch here I think that is so pretty so I do believe I will put down um, hmm yeah let's put down the two sides here and then we can have a tuck back behind it. And then I'll still have room to take my paper clip off. And we have plenty of room down in there to make some, um, like put some long, tall tags in there. I like that idea. So let's do that. I want to try to start filling this little album up. I've got more of these on the way, so if you go to our website and you see that we are sold out of this particular one, we are. But we do have some of the modern looking ones still in stock over there. So if you're not into vintage, you can totally get a modern one and go along with me in the album. Okay, so I'm putting that down there. And then when that dries, so we'll have a tuck here. We can put things back behind if we want to. And we still have room to take our paper clip off there and put things down inside the coin pouch too. And with the coin pouch, I know that Jennifer made um, this one. So if we folded it over, this would be the side that I was working on. And so she put the beautiful design on the back side. But when I am using coin pouches, I love this side. I love the folds. I love seeing all of that. It's, I don't know. I guess I'm kind of weird. I use that side of the coin pouch. Anyway, wanted to show y'all that's where I was putting that one. Go over to my Buy Me A Coffee website and pick up 
this um, digital page. It also comes with, it has some butterflies like in each corner of it. So it's not just the pouch that's on there. And then the other freebie that she has on my Buy Me A Coffee website for me is a um, music page. So a full page of music. Let me see if I've got it around here. I do. Here it is. A full music sheet that you can print front and back and use in your journals. So anyway, that's that. We also had scoops this week. Yay! We hadn't had scoops in about three weeks. Had a lot of family stuff going on and um, just didn't really have time for it. We had a lot of ministry uh, trip stuff and we had been in Ohio so I just knew that I wouldn't be able to get to scoops. So we just now got more scoops up this week. And remember, scoops are posted on Mondays of every week that we're going to have them. So um, there's no particular time. You just have to um, be watching or refresh your page on uh, scrapbookingwithme.com. And they are $15 each plus tax. You get all kinds of goodies in it. And you never know what you're going to get like. You're going to watch these. We got the reveals here. You'll see what everybody got. And uh, thank y'all so much for playing along with Scoops. And thank you for purchasing from scrapbookingwithme.com. Hey y'all. We are back with Mystery Scoops. And today we have Rhonda W. And she got three scoops. got here got one two three four blue chips one aqua chip two three red chips one two three hot pink chips one purple one two three orange one white and one yellow and then you got one, two, three, four, five yellow marbles. One, two hot pink marbles or bubble gum. You can say whatever. Two light pink marbles, two purple marbles, three blue marbles. One, two, three, four, five orange marbles. Oh wait, no, six. There we go. I missed that one. One red, two white, and then you got three light green marbles and one lime marble. We'll be right back to see what you got. All right, Miss Rhonda. So let's start off with your chips. You got three orange chips. So that means you got two sheets of scrap of paper. So that would be six. And so we got you some these. Then there's designs on the back. I think there's designs on all of them on the back. Well, not those. <laughs> there is one on that back though. I love these pages. These pages are probably my favorite. I always include some whenever I pick them out. But then we got three hot pink chips and that gives you three pieces of trim. So let me grab them here. We got this pink trim. And then this lace trim, how pretty that is. And then we got you some mod trim. Okay. Three red chips and you got three sheets of stickers. So we got you these. These are so pretty. I saw these and I was like, yep, these are the ones. <laughs> and then you got some puffy stickers. They're cute. And then some stickers from P13. Then you got one, two, three, four blue chips. So that means you get four rows of enamel dots. So, I can't think of that. There they are. 
So I'll pick these out. These are so cute. So there's some heart ones and then regu the regular dots and then stars. And I thought that was pretty cool since we just got done with 4th of July. So there we go. Okay, we got one aqua chip and that means you got one handmade item from MRE. And I found this, look how cute this is. It's like a little booklet. Who do you think made this one, mama? Me. This was made by Miss M. <laughs> So after you untie the trim, you can pull this out and look, it's like a little booklet. It has a pocket for tags, there's another little pocket right there. And then look, this one pops out and you can put all kinds of little things in it. It is so cute. Okay. And then, there we go. Got one purple chip and that means you get a Tim Holtz item and we got you the Tim Holtz Curator Ephemera Pack. That's those. those. That's what those look like on the back. Okay. Got one white chip, and that means you get a gel pen. Got you the gold gel pen. I love these. They're so good. Then you got the yellow chip, and that means you get a clip. That's using. And I got you this hot pink bulldog clip. Pink is my favorite color, so it just spotted it first. <laughs> All right, now we are done with the chips. Let's move on to marbles. So you got three black green marbles, and that means you got three book rings. And if I can pick them up, there we go. Got you this. We got you all kinds of sizes. This size, that size, and then these I think are newer, but they're like a rustic color, and I love them. So there's yours. There's all three of those. And then you got three aqua marbles. And that means you got three packs of dot cuts or punch shapes. So you got you this, these ephemera. Those are so pretty, I love those. These from P13, decorative tags. Okay. And then these from Kaiser Craft. I think that's how you say it. Look how pretty those are. Let's see if I can. Well, that's what those look like. But they're so cute. All right. And then you got two light pink, and those mean charms. And so got you the teapot charm with the little teacup that goes with it. Look how cute those are. <laughs> okay. And then you got two bubblegum pink. So that means you get two rows of tickets. Got you the green and the orange. And these are good for dyeing if you wanna color a different color and put them in journals or whatever you wanna put them in. Got one, two, three, four, five yellow marbles. And that means you get Two sheets, two book pages, so two, four, six, eight, ten. And it don't look like ten because most of them are sticking together right now, but I promise you there's ten. I double checked. <laughs> okay. And then <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six orange marbles. That means you get six sheets of eight and a half by eleven cardstock. We got to all of these colors. I'm not going to label all of them because I'm not good at labeling all kinds of colors that mom is, but <laughs> you can see those colors right there. <laughs> okay. And then you got two purple marbles. That means you get two envelopes. So we got you these. So we got you two big ones, a smaller round one, and then like a white or ivory colored. Okay, we got your red marble. It means you got a bits and bobs pack. What all'd you put in this, Mama? It's got some foam dots, some tiny metal paper clips. I do see those. It's got stickers, goalies. Yep. yep. And a few little other things, I think. <laughs> <laughs> little surprises for you when we get to you. Okay, and then you got the lime green. That means you got two tags. 
Got you these. A white one, plain white one, and then a make, and then a craft one. And then, last but not least, you got two white marbles, and that means you get surprise items. So, get this first one here. So I got you some big doilies. Look how big these are. You take up the whole screen. Size comparison. <laughs> Then that comes with, this is all one by the way, so it comes with these, some washi, some like aqua lace trim. It's like, um, what is that mama tool material? The, it's a tool. Yeah. And then you got just some cutouts. And then these are, see these are more sticker, yep, cardboard stickers, there you go. There's 42 pieces in that, so. Those are cute. And then, here's the second one. <laughs> here's some more ephemera. There you go. 53 pieces on that one. And then here's some more. <laughs> You're just getting a lot of ephemera today. Okay. And then these are stamps. Yeah, it's a stamp set. Cute. And then we got you some napkins for decoupage. And then for your, so those were your surprise items, both of them. And so for your bonus, just for playing along, got you a, a it's a watercolor marker on here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So those work really good with just paper and put water on it and just brush it all on. And then got some more trim. Okay. And then got you some fabric. A few pieces of fabric. Look how pretty those are. Oh, I love that one. Cute. More napkins. More doilies. Those are smaller. And then a whole sticker book. The entire thing. Look at that. Those are most of the pages that are in there. Alrighty, Miss Rhonda, thank you for purchasing the scoops and we will get you a steel shot right after this. Hey guys, so we're doing mystery scoops and we are scooping for Miss Teresa O and she got two scoops. Oh, one fell out. Oh well, you're keeping it. <laughs> There's one. And that one fell in my hand, so you're gonna get that one too. Okay, so let's see what all you got. So you got one, two, two red chips, two hot pink chips, one, two, three, four orange chips. And then you got three yellow chips, one aqua chip, one blue chip, one green chip, one white chip. And then you got one, two, three, four orange marbles, three light pink marbles, one, two, three, four, five yellow marbles, one, two, three, three light green marbles. Two lime green marbles, three aqua marbles, one purp two purple, one bubblegum pink, and one white. Alrighty, so we will be back to see what all you got. Alright, Miss Teresa, so let's start off with your chips. So got two red chips, and that means you get two sheets of stickers. Here we go. So I got you these blue flowers, flower stickers, and then these are like kind of pop out stickers. So they're layered. They have different layers on them, so it makes them pop out more. Two hot pink chips, and that means you get two pieces of trim. We got ooh, this like aqua trim. There we go, we can see it better now. <laughs> and then this yellow trim, cute. 
And then you got one, two, three, four orange chips. And that means you get two sheets of scrapbook paper. So two, four, six, eight sheets. And here is all those. I love that you just so pretty. A lot of them have other bags to them. Okay. Got one, two, three yellow chips. That means you get three clips. And so, got two black bulldog clip, a blue or aqua bulldog, and then the spiral clip. You can clip on your book pages if you want. Okay. You got a green chip, that means you get a wax, some wax thread and a needle. And there's the needle. It's a blunt needle, it's not an actual sharp needle. It's the wax thread. Okay, here's the blue chip, and you, that means you get a roman and dots. Here's those. The aqua chip it means you get a handmade autumn. You know who made this one? Me. Made by Miss M. It has a little pocket. You can put any kind of tags you want. And then there's like a there's a little see-through base. So yep. And then here's another. See, there you go, right there. Pretty. And then the white chip, that means you get a gel pen. Got you the white gel pen. Right there we go. Okay. Moving on to marbles, you got one, two, three, four orange marbles. That means you get four sheets of eight and a half by eleven paint stock. Then, okay, here we go. Got you this kind of mint green color like a royal blue, a chocolate brown, and a cherry red color. Okay, three light pink marbles, and that means you get three charms. And so we got you butterfly, the pink wings, this rose gold vine, those are pretty. And then a little resin charm with the butterfly and flowers in it. We go. Then you got two purple marbles. And that means you get four envelopes. And got you a big one, two smaller craft ones, and then one white one. One, two, three, four, five yellow marbles. And that means you get. So, for one more, we get two book pages. So, you get two, four, six, eight, ten pages. Ten book pages. So, let me grab them here. You kind of run away from me. There's ten in there. You got a whole chapter. <laughs> there we go. Then you got three black green, and that means you get two, four, six tags. They are got you the want ones and then the craft ones. Okay, and then you got the three aqua marbles, and that means you get three packs of dice cuts or cup shapes. And then there's those. This one's a big pack. I love these packs. That pack and these. These are probably my favorite ones, though. I like those. A bubblegum pink marble, that means you get a row of tickets. You get you the green ones, and you can change the color of these if you've got any ink of any sort. You can put them on your pages. Then you got two lime green tag, lime green marbles, and that means you get four tags. Okay, so I seem to have mixed up the greens, but so the lime green and the light green, but you got the same, you got the right amount, so. What I mixed up was the light green. You had three of those, so you got three book rings. And these are those, they're different sizes and different color too. And then the lime green were the two tags and you got those. All of that's correct, so. Moving on. 
So now you got the white marble, and that means you get a surprise item. And whoopsie. Well, let me spill it all over first, and then I'll show it to you. All right. So we got to some paper clips here and some more book rings. There you go. <laughs> That's for, more for compensation of what happened. <laughs> so there you, there's those. And then you got some washi. Ooh, that's pretty washi. Some dualies. These are the small ones. Looks like some stickers. And then this is a, what is that, Mama? Oh, that's a die. That's a die. Mm -hmm. you, can cut, you can cut it out. Cut out like paper and stuff with it. And then more doilies, and then cutouts, and a whole thing of chipboard stickers. And there's 42 pieces in these. These are so pretty. There's more back there. Okay. And then for your bonus for playing along, got you some of these little cutouts. Look how pretty those are. More cutouts. Oh, look little butterflies. Those are so pretty. Got you some frames and tags, so ephemera. Got some napkins for decoupage. And, oh, there's some more. <laughs> there's some more clips. And then, what kind of trim would this be called, Mom? That is burlap. Burlap. Okay, look how pretty that is. Love that texture. Well, that is everything, Miss Teresa. Thank you so much for purchasing scoops, and we will have a still shot right after this. Hey, hey, y'all. Carrie, we are scooping for you, Carrie M. And you got two scoops. One. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We had some marbles to pop out there so we've got three blue chips three orange chips two yellow chips a red chip a hot pink chip and then three yellow marbles two purple two white the bubblegum pink four light pink two lime green two orange, and an aqua. Okay, Carrie, we will, well, la, 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 la. We will be right back to show you what you got. Okay, Carrie, maybe I have fixed my tongue-tiedness. Probably not. Uh, hot pink chip means you got some trim. I got you this cute lace trim there. Your orange chips, that is two, four, six sheets of scrapbook paper. And I got gotcha. a little variety. Look at that, how pretty. Cute. And then those. And then your two orange marbles gets you scrapbook paper, not just scrapbook paper, cardstock. And then your four light pink marbles gets you four charms. So I got you a tassel charm, a butterfly charm, another resin butterfly charm, and then a little owl charm, and he was so tiny that I got you another little tiny rhinestone one to go along with it. Cute. Your three yellow marbles gets you two, four, six book pages. There are those. Um, let's see, your two purple, Marbles gets you four envelopes. So there those are. Your bubblegum pink marble gets you a row of tickets. So I've got you these and you can always um, ink them and make them vintage looking. Your aqua marble gets you a pack of die cuts and i got you these from prima the my sweet collection very pretty then your two lime green marbles gets you four tags 
Got you a big one, two craft, and then one small white one. Your red chip gets you a sheet of stickers. We got you these puffy ones from Pink Fresh. Very cute. Love that little truck. Your three blue chips gets you three rows of enamel dots. There those are. Two yellow chips gets you two clips. And we got you two bulldog. One's a, like a brushed nickel, and then one is a seafoam green. Two white marbles, and that means surprise items. So we've got you some stickers, some puffy uh, foam dots, some cut aparts, and then a pack of chipboard stickers. Beautiful. That also is from Prima, the My Sweet Collection. And some washi butterfly buttons, some of the little tiny paper clips, and then we have you a little stack of brown or um, like paper bag dolly, and then some white ones. So there's your surprise items, and then as a bonus, just for playing along, we got you some more chipboard stickers. That is from Prima, the Golden Desert Collection. Some napkins for decoupage. Pretty ones, look at that, it looks like an oil painting. And then some die cuts. And then this is a handmade item from me. It is masterboard that I cut out. And so you would just add this to your journal and just glue down on the three sides and use it as a pocket in your journal. All right, Carrie, thanks so much for playing along. We'll get you a still shot. Hey, hey, we are scooping for a Melissa H. She got two scoops. Oh, that was a pitiful one. Let's try to get another one that's overflowing. That makes it fair. Okay, we got two red chips, two hot pink chips, three orange chips, the aqua chip. You've got one, two, three purple marbles, two aqua marbles, two light pink marbles, three yellow, two white, a red, a hot pink or a bubblegum pink, and then four orange marbles and the lime green marble. And y'all got to hear that summer thunderstorm coming through. We'll be right back, Melissa, to show you what you got. Okay, for your three orange chips, you get two, four, six sheets of scrapbook paper. And I'm gonna have to dig that out. That was one of the first things I pulled for you. So we've got, look at that little kitty cat. Cute, cute, cute. And those two with the butterflies. And then these two big sheets here. Prima paper, very pretty. Your four orange marbles gets you four sheets of cardstock. I got you a little bit of fall vibe going on here. So we got a green, a chocolate brown, a mustard, and then a true red. Pretty little fall rainbow there. Three yellow marbles gets you two, four, six book pages. Got all of those there. Some are sticking together, but I promise they're all there. Then your three purple marbles gets you two, four, six envelopes. And on top of envelopes, I've also got you card bases. So there's an envelope with a card base and another envelope with a card base. Love that one card, beautiful. Um, two aqua marbles gets you two packs of die cuts, and those are here somewhere. There we go. Crepe paper heritage collection. That's got some vellum pieces in it too. And then this is from P13. It's called Good Nights. Kind of got a baby vibe to it, but they're very cute. And your hot pink chips gets you. Two pieces of trim 
I got you some pink pom-pom trim and then some white lace trim. Your red marble gets you a bits and bobs pack. That other two, yes. Um, this wouldn't fit in the bag, so um, you've got some foam adhesive dots. And then in this bits and bobs pack, you've got a uh, sponge dauber, like you put it on the end of your finger and you ink with that. Some butterfly wooden buttons, some stickers, some pretty decorative straight pins, all kinds of little nicks and nacks in there for you to find when you get home. Uh, lime green marble gets you two tags here. And then your bubblegum pink marble gets you a row of tickets. And we got your green ones, but you know, you can ink those up any way you would like to make them vintage if you want. Two pink marbles gets you two charms. And Bethany picked you out the blue or um, seafoam green butterfly and then the rose gold vine. Very pretty. I'm gonna put that down in your bits and bobs bag. Um, let us see what else we got here. Aqua chip gets you a handmade item from M or E, and these are from me. So this is um, a master board cut apart, and it's supposed to be like um, an, a, a pocket, a pocket, a pocket, a pocket. I will get that out in just a minute. Words are hard sometimes. Um, you're just gonna glue on three sides, and then this would be the opening here. And since this is smaller, I went ahead and got you another one. You could even do a little um, half circle cut out up here and do the same thing, three sides. Put that into your journal as pocket. Um, two red chips. Gets you two sheets of stickers. And I got you some puffy stickers from Pink Fresh. And then these stickers are from, they are chipboard and they're from Prima from the Golden Desert Collection. Very pretty. And this is gonna come in handy. You know, you got two sheets of that. Um, previously, I've got you some more of that collection. So you're gonna have a lot of that collection to be able to make something independently if you want to. So a yellow chip gets you a clip and we got you the black bulldog clip. And then your two white marbles gets you two surprise items. And here is, you get this die cut pack. It's florals, it looks like poppies is what it looks like. And then a stencil. Yes, we're a little bit out of that season, but about to go into it here in the US. So, And then I got you the remaining full pack of that paper. So quite a few pieces from that collection to make something if you want to. So there's one surprise item and here's the other. We got some postcard-like pieces here some wooden clips, some little bitty Tim Holtz book rings, some little doilies, a big pack of white doilies, and then some cut aparts there. That's your other surprise item. I'm gonna also put these down into your bits and bobs pack. So maybe they won't get lost in the package. And then as a bonus for playing along, I got you some hemp twine. I've got you quite a few pieces of um, blue tool material. I got you some washi and another one of those sponge daubers like it's down in your um, bits and bobs pack. So you would just pat that into ink and you can ink whatever you would like. I got you some napkins for decoupage, some ephemera pieces, frames and things like that. And then this, it might just look like a white piece of copy paper, but it's not. It is shimmer. It's got a shimmer to it, and I don't know if you will be able to see that on camera, but it is beautiful paper. All right, Miss Melissa, we will get you a still shot. Hey, y'all, we are scooping for Karen Kay, and she got one scoop. Alrighty, 
Let's see what you got, Karen. You got a hot pink chip, a blue chip, an aqua chip, a red chip, an orange chip, an orange marble, two yellow marbles, two light pink marbles. Gracious at all the marbles. Uh, a bubblegum pink marble, white marble. Oh, there's another aqua marble. Okay, so white, two yellow, one orange, two orange, <laughs> two light pink, a bubble gum pink, two light green, a red, two aqua, and then those chips. All right, Karen, we'll be right back to show you what you got. Okay, Karen, so we have uh, a red marble. That is your bits and bobs pack. And we have stickers in there. We have little tickets in there. We've got some washi and a sponge dauber that you put on the end of your finger and dip into your ink and put ink wherever you would like. Little tags, all kinds of little stuff in the bits and bobs pack. And then your two yellow marbles gets you four sheets or four book pages. There are those. Your two orange marbles gets you two pieces of cardstock. So I've got you a true red and then like a sea foamy green. Your orange chip gets you two sheets of cardstock or two pieces of scrapbook paper. Um, and then your two light green marbles gets you two book rings. Great for making tag books and mini albums. Your two aqua whoa, marbles gets you, let's see, two die cut packs. I've got you these from My Sweet, the Prima My Sweet collection. Look at that beautiful butterfly. And then this from P13, Always and Forever. Cute little banners, love those. Your bubblegum pink marble gets you a row of tickets, and we got your red ones, but you can ink them however you would like to make them antique if you want to. Um, two light pink marbles gets you two charms, and I know I picked them out, and I just got to find where I put them. There they are. Got you a little starfish, and then a rose gold vine. And then, let's see here, your hot pink chip gets you some trim, and I got you this pretty lace trim. And then your blue chip gets you, let's see, da, 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 a row of enamel dots. And I got you those. Then your white marble gets you a surprise item. And we got you a little stack of brown, um, big, big, big doilies. And then some white doilies, a little stack of those too. Then this is little um, foam adhesive dots, some pink pom-pom trim. This is tool trim, big long piece of that. Two tiny little mini Tim Holtz, um, book rings, and then this is like fireworks and streamers die. And this is some chipboard stickers from Prima. Julie Nutting, Frayed Denim is the collection name. Very pretty. And then a little handmade item from me. These are those um, index cards that I watercolored. And then they open up and they have a little book page pocket in there. It's a little file folder made out of index card. So there is your surprise item. And then as a bonus, just for playing along, got you some more dollies. These are the little brown ones. A little charm with a chain, cute. Another row of enamel dots. Some beautiful napkins for decoupage. That one looks like a watercolor painting or a oil painting. Very pretty napkins. And then a whole nother pack of paper that kind of go along with what you've already got. And then these are fussy cut pieces. Yay. All right, thank you, Karen. I will get you a still shot. Thanks for playing along.
All right, lots and lots of fun there. Um, we had a lot of fun <laughs> getting all of that stuff together. And, and again, thank y'all so much for supporting us. We thank you so much for that. That is how uh, Brandon and I pay our bills. So we appreciate it so much. Y'all have a great week, a great rest of your day today. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I know this was scattered and I covered a lot of stuff, but I hope that you appreciated all the content today. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Bye, y'all.